have a really good think, because somebody you know could earn you a lot of money for very little effort. Think, who do you know that wants to buy a property in Spain? A colleague, a mate, someone in your family, a friend of a friend? If you know someone, go to welcome-estates.com and click the Refer a Friend link. If they buy, you'll pocket a nice chunky thank you from one of Spain's leading estate agents. T's and C's apply. All details at welcome-estates.com. Hello, all you hardcores out there, how are you doing? Just Russ here from Poker's Corner, the biggest gob in sport. Oh, at last, sun's out now. We might get something done. Right, we've brought Elmer to some months back for the last 28 days, so votes are in. Uh, well done, Dale Nichols, for sorting it. Here we go, in at number 10, he's bricked up. He's put yard beater beef on this year, and Joyce sang. That's it, we're four and a half month in to 2023. I've been screaming and shouting that Bricktop's back on his perch, but is he? What is he putting out there? Yard and Baturbia, Joyce and Zhang, that's certain we're into second quarter at year. So Bricktop could do better if tried. So you've had the votes, Bricktop, pound for pound, number 10 on Porky's Corner. Take a bow. Take a bow, Bricktop. You know, lad. You know, get that shoulder all sorted properly, eh? The comeback is on for Bricktop. In at number nine, it's Isaac Lowe, a.k.a. Bamba Gascoigne, a.k.a. Mastermind. Isaac, if you fight Shaka Stevenson like you've been calling him out, you could end up a very smart man because we might be able to read some of the tweets that you put out then if Stevenson knocks some sense into you. But I think you need to deal with Jordan Gill first. All right, Isaac, so don't have nightmares, Isaac. Pound for pound, number nine. Boxing fans are making you relevant. In at number eight, it's Isaac Lowe's dad. Tyson Fury. <laughs> <laughs> Last two opponents, Tyson Fury's dad, Derek Chisora. Uh, last time out, and before that, Dylan White. You wouldn't have them beating Wardley now, would you? Hey. Eh? So who's Tyson fighting? How many more times can they keep digging people up? It's a joke. So Tyson Fury, number eight, Porky's Corner, pound for pound. Plus all that messing about with Usyk fight, you're embarrassing. So get gone. In at number seven, it's Big Doss Femi, AKA Big Meech. What can we say about Big Meech that hasn't already been said? His last 15 opponents had 15 losses. 15 losses. Big Meech's last 15 opponents. So that looks good on paper, doesn't it, really? But it ain't. It's pony. Absolute pony. When he gets to December, he'll have had four fights in four years. That's not a throwback fighter. You're not active enough. So, Anthony Joshua, you are not a throwback. All right. So, get gone. In at number six, it's Robert Smith from the British Boxing Board of Control. Smithy, eh? 15 year at the helm. For what? What have you done, Smithy, in 15 year? What mark would you give yourself out of 10 for your 15 year as the captain of the ship, Robert Smith? What would you give us an out of 10? You can't even answer people when they put it on you at shows. So boxing fans, when you see Robert Smith at these shows, go up to him and say, Robert, you've been the top dog 15 year. What is your mark out of 10? What would you give yourself? He's not going to say 10 because you jump on him. And if he says 5 out of 10, you say, well, why ain't you resigned? That's why he won't answer. So Robert Smith... A Coley and Billum Smith on Sky, 27th of May. Michael Conlon, BT Sport, 27th of May. Wood Lara 2, Dazone, 27th of May. Nothing else on it, rest of May. But they've got three big fights on the same night there, all on different platforms. Well done, Robert Smith. From the boxing board, British boxing board of no control. Get gone. In at number five, it's Dylan White, same Fury and Joshua. He'll fight them again and all this. They've already done you. They've already done you. Do you know what I mean? So, they've already beat you. So, Dylan White, 
you got put on planet orbit by Tyson Fury. That's what happened. You got put on orbit by him. Tyson Fury. Alright, and Anthony Joshua. Put you put you on moon, mate, with them hundred John Fury put up there. <laughs> Alright. Peace out. In at number four. It's Tony Bell, you're the disappearing man. The Dazone Die Hard. Anybody who says that about anybody who's connected to Matchroom, Tony Bellio will be visiting you in the middle of the night to deal with you. He is Matchroom's backup. He's a die hard, he's Tony. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What can you do? Storm in that arena trying to get at Franklin's team. Oh my god. The Tony Bellio. Pound for pound number four. Get gone, la. Ah, ah. In at number three. In the bronze medal position, it's Big John Fury, big fighting man. MI5 are watching me from moon. No, they're not. Stop telling whoppers. 100 men put on the moon in orbit. No, it didn't happen. You've never had a fight in your life on hard road. All you do is bully people. Give me one person, John Fury, who has seen you have a fight on the hard road for money. Never mind the £100,000 Irish champion you knocked out in 1992 that didn't happen. Rubbish, but you've had the boats this month. Not for all the whoppers that you tell and upsetting everybody and falling out with everybody around. No, it's not that big, John. It's for your messing about with the Fury Usek fight. You got too involved, and that's it. It's not happened, has it? No, it's happening around you. So get gone. In at number two, it's Eddie Hills. Hmm. Silver medal for Eddie Hills, a 6 and 0 ice man from Billy Ricky. 4 by way of! Isn't that Eddie? Isn't it Eddie? 4 by way of? Jesus. Dart player, singer, opening bowler at cricket for Essex, opening bat, boxer, 6 and 0. Now we've got Brentwood Rugby Union star. <laughs> they jump out your mouth. In fact, you're not even Eddie Hills no more. You're not even a man. You are a superman, you superhuman, Eddie. Get gone. In at number one. There can only be one. Pound for pound. Porky's corner. Helmet in the gold medal position. The one and only. It's Crusher. Crusher. Hey, eh? two dope tests failed. And you're screaming. Blue murder. Hey, that you're innocent. Well, show us the 270 page dossier. Forget all this, he said, she said. Just show the dossier. All right, because like I said before, and I'll say it again, you've got to go with begging bolt at board now, Ben. So, okay, because your career's stalling. And who wants to see Pacquiao, Connor, Ben? What is all that about? After all that Roadman Killer talk, we want to see Errol Spence Crawford, Ben. That's what we want to see. Road men should fight the top men, shouldn't they? All these big cheats, all these PEDs getting loads of PR and loads of chances, off with their heads. So there you go. Porky's Corner, back with a vengeance for, for a one time only helmets. That's about it. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. And if anybody's interested in making a few quid on your social medias, Get in touch with me, Porky Corner and Mail.com and I will explain how to share the links and how it works and how you get paid. Alright? No, oh, we are not messing about. Okie dokie. Peace out. Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Site Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com.